that he did exactly what the BBL told him to do because just like every other weak black man, they ass over bills. But the interview wasn't coming out now because of Cardi, like I already told her that. Yo, yo, Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I was supposed to put this video out yesterday until Joe Budden finally responded. So I had to re-edit it and include his side of the story and speak on that as well because it gets very interested now tasha k right i know she isn't the most popular in the world these days especially because she's been known to go back and forth with cardi b especially after the lawsuit that left her having to pay cardi b a lump sum of money four million to be exact due to the defamation of character lawsuit yes she made allegations against cardi b allegedly stating that cardi allegedly had stds she allegedly drugged men and robbed them in her stripper days, allegedly leaked Offset's home address, and a slew of other accusations in regards to Cardi B. So oftentimes in the music industry, when you're at odds with somebody that's very popular and winning at the time, other people tend to pick sides and refuse to mess with you because they don't want to ruin the relationship they have with the person you're beefing with that seems to be more popular. In other words, that's called blackball. It don't only happen amongst musicians, but it happens with anybody in the entertainment industry that happens to go against a popular individual. Um, in this case, we have Joe Budden, Tasha K, and Cardi B. Tasha K is accusing Joe Budden of holding back the interview that they did with each other because he's afraid of Cardi B after she made some claims when she found out that Joe Budden did an interview with her. Taja K has been very vocal about her distaste for Joe Budden and even got Adam 22 involved from No Jumper because he did a recent interview with her as well and actually dropped it despite what was said in the interview. Now, of course, Adam had to throw his little two cents in, but what we do got to realize is he really don't care about what's going on. You know, um, it's not like he's doing it for the betterment of Tasha K. And not, it's not that he really cares about Tasha K and Cardi B. But the problem is, negativity sells, controversy sells. So, of course, he's going to welcome her with open arms to pretty much do an interview on his platform and put it out because he doesn't care. Right? So, Adam had to throw his two cents in there. Like I said, here's a little clip of what he had to say about Joe Budden. Man, I got the podcast game on my back right now. Joe Budden had Tasha K come all the way out to Jersey and do a multiple hour interview. She was happy about it when I seen her and he's not dropping it. He's scared to death of Cardi B. He's scared to death of Offset. He don't want to have another running in the mall with the QC goons like he did. Remember, Everyday Struggle was actually really entertaining before QC told him that he wasn't allowed to talk about their artists anymore. And that's when you saw him really simmer down, brought the temperature down a whole lot. But, I mean, if you're, if you're Tasha Kay and you went all the way to Jersey to do an interview that when I talked to her, she was real happy about the interview. And he's not dropping it because he's scared of Cardi B. Like, what kind of is that? I, that's not why I got in the podcast game. I didn't get in the podcast game to be running around acting like a ho button. you acting like a and nobody respects it. Your fans are losing interest because you're not keeping it real. Now, Joe Budden is not clear if Cardi is actually the reason behind Joe not dropping the interview, but Tasha K feels strong that she is and had a lot to say to Joe Budden in regards to the interview. Now, one thing for sure is, if he didn't plan on dropping the interview before, I know damn sure he isn't about to drop it now because Tasha K went in. Here's what she had to say about Joe Budden. Saying that he's breaking ribs and kicking babies out of their stomach this is the type of girl 
that Joe Button is. And I honestly regret sitting down with him and giving him that one interview that would shake social media so bad that it shook his face in that lace shirt with his belly sitting over it. That he did exactly what the BBL told him to do because just like every other weak black man, they ass over bills. Now I want y'all to clip this. Yes, angry, black, bald head. That's what I want you to clip. And I honestly regret getting him the interview that I should have gave that Adam 22 when he had the intelligence to read to read my case instead of me sitting down with a black man that is that is supposed to have my back when I'm supposed to have his back when Latina women are out here saying that he's breaking ribs and kicking babies out of their fucking stomach then you want the black woman to come sit in court and pick it for your don't play with me. Don't play with me. And you wonder why black people don't get ahead because we can't stick together. We want to try to mask it and blame. That's why you chose a black woman. Shout out to Melissa Ford. But let me say something. I said this to her. You chose Melissa Ford for that platform because she would never stand up to your. You are the type that hates women with a fucking voice. So when they cry and say, oh, somebody did this to me, you feel sorry for me until the rabbit got the gun on your calling you a drug addict, calling you a woman beater, but you innocent, but you ain't take the time to read my cat. You ain't never picked up them court documents. You just believe that the she got a BBL and the now, as y'all can see, Tasha K feels wholeheartedly that Cardi is the reason behind him not dropping their interview. She's also saying that she gave him what would be considered the interview of the year. And with claims like that, I have a feeling that maybe she said a few things in relation to the Cardi case, amongst other things that the public would like to know about what her and Cardi got going on, period. And maybe she feels that he's holding it because of Cardi, because she knows what was said and she knows what she knows in that whole situation, along with Joe Budden during the interview. Clearly, Tasha K didn't come to play and she's screaming, sounds as if she's taking this very serious. And I get it because y'all have to take things into consideration, right? One, Tasha got her own platform going on. She got her own business flowing. So she stopped all of that to travel on a plane to Joe Budden in New Jersey and sit for hours doing a podcast and give them information that she thought was going to be used for the platform. Now, I don't know about y'all, but Tom is very, very, very important. It's beyond important um, because that's something that you can't get back. And at the end of the day, she has her own business going on, her own things to attend to, her own platform, her own blog. So she wasted a lot of valuable time. So she dropped everything she was doing, agreed to do the interview traveled and all for that for joe not to release the interview for whatever reason and then for him not to give a clear-cut reason as to why it is kind of frustrating i'll be pissed too now she also went on about the court documents and said that joe budden did poor journalism work meaning she like he didn't do his research on her and what's going on because if he did he wouldn't be stopping the release of the interview due to Tasha K's feud with Cardi B because he would know more about the situation rather than just taking Cardi B's side. Whatever the truth is and whatever Tasha K feels strong about, she continued to say that Joe Budden didn't do his research on the case because if he did, he would know the truth. Not only that, but she also pointed out that Cardi was the same one talking down on Joe Budden himself. So why is he trying to protect her so much for whatever reason when she pretty much don't like him neither? Now check this clip out of Cardi speaking on Joe Budden after he said her new song with Meg The Stallion's Bongos was trash. This, I just feel like it's like he, he has an issue with me and, this, and it was beyond the critique of Bongos. It's just like you inviting that said the food is nasty for women. Uh, what's the man they used to do podcast with? 
Oh, um, Maul. Ma, ma, yeah, Maul um, and the little other guy. Yeah, when Ma and Rory said we about you, Rory said, "Oh, I'm not about you." Yeah, that's what he said. Came at Taxstone because Taxstone says something about you. You want to clear it up, and you know, you expect people to understand you, and you you expect people to take your side. But um, I, I had to go to court. I had to go to court because this woman, like, it's it's beyond saying that I have herpes, right? Like, come on now, like, it's beyond saying I have right. herpes. Like, this woman tried to run a, a, a I drug men campaign. Yeah, she paid yeah. men to say that I drug them. And- them. She claimed that my dad, uh, the 14 year old girl, she said that didn't show my daughter. She said that didn't show my daughter because she was dark skinned. She's saying that I was putting beer bottles in my. She said that I have all these type of diseases. She, she has she has put out my. She has literally Googled my husband number, literally put his number out, literally put his parents' address out. Like it's like, like it's literally harassment. But it's like, hmm. Oh, I know it's going to get people attention. Let's go to... Now, here's the actual audio of Joe Budden talking about the song. Check this out. And I said it pretty respectfully. You did. Yeah, you did. I ain't here to come in and, and shatter nobody's dreams. See, I ain't put the uh, the, the Shorty interview out, the Tasha K interview out, uh, the day that she put that record out. That yeah, was, that, 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 that would have looked foul. That would have looked nuts. Maybe wouldn't have got that invite to the party. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... Today, it's either you got to support it or don't say nothing. That's the way they treat you. Like, if you don't like something, don't say it. You either got to be on board, support, this is fire, I love it, champion it, or just shut up. And I don't think that's, I don't think that's right. Well, that's where me, the media people get chips on their shoulders. Uh, mm-hmm. For me, it's, if I didn't hear nothing from none of y'all the nine million times that I bigged you up, I definitely don't want to hear nothing from you that one time I didn't. Mm-hmm. I'm not nobody's voice box. I'm not on nobody's payroll. I don't work for nobody. I'm my own man and my own opinions, and I stand in the So, yeah, I don't want to hear. I agree. Now, real quick, here's my thing, right? In journalism and having a platform, you're not supposed to be biased. No matter what it is, Um, to be honest with you, we do know that it does exist. A lot of people that has a lot of ties to a lot of big media platforms, they are cool with certain people. So when it's controversy or drama that goes against them, then the media outlets tend to not put it out and show favoritism, right? But actually, the way you get both parties on your platform is allowing one to come on and speak. And usually the other would like to come on and say their side of the story and then boom, that's fair journalism. You're giving both sides an equal opportunity, you know, to pretty much get their sides out of whatever the situation is. But if you're making it one sided and not releasing interviews and not giving reasons and explanations as to why you're not, it's like you're picking sides. You know, it goes without saying it's like you're being biased. And that's all Tasha K was saying. And I agree because a lot of these platforms um, claim they're pushing real news. They get paid to push an agenda. And as long as you paying them, they keep that narrative going. Therefore, nobody ever gets the truth unless you go searching for it yourself. That's just one sided. And that's how one sided stories get pushed by the mass media. It's no different than being shadow banned online. It's all a conglomerate to just push false narratives in a country where freedom of speech is highlighted and is really the total opposite. So I can see the frustration in Tasha K and why. If Joe is in fact holding the interview because of Cardi, that'd be corny. He shouldn't be getting into female business in the first place. And also he should be doing fair journalism. But anyway, Joe Bunner had something to say when he was asked about withholding the interview for whatever reason. And he actually gave an interesting reason that just goes to prove our point on these big platforms of what we just stated about them kind of being biased. Here's what he had to say. But the interview wasn't coming out now because of Cardi. Like, I already told her that, that interview was a problem uh, legally, financially, and algorithmically. There was a lot There was a lot going on in that, in that interview. It would be foolish of me to just put out an interview with the girl that just got sued and lost for $4 million without checking this. So all of this other shit just happened to happen while my lawyers was looking at this. <laughs> so, I mean, listen, you play with pigs, you get mud on you. I don't have nothing to say. Let, let the- uh- now, 
He says, legally, financially, algorithmically, and my only question is, why? <laughs> you know, he says it was foolish of him to put out an interview on a girl who got sued and just lost $4 million without checking in, right? Checking out on it or whatever the case may be. Then proceeds to say that he had his lawyer check over it. Then proceeds to say that if you play with pigs, you get mud all over yourself. So in so many words, he's stating that he didn't want to get in between whatever her and Cardi B had going on because he didn't want to be in the middle of it. But here's my question. How would it be foolish of him to put out an interview on a girl who got sued and just lost $4 million when that would be the perfect opportunity actually to give her a voice on a big platform to explain how she feels and what really went down concerning her side? We only heard Cardi's side. Um, we heard Tasha K, but... You only really hear Tasha K side if you go to her platform. I don't hear too many people really speaking on her side or maybe she feels she put out new information that she never released before in that interview and now that was her opportunity to get it out there. But if you don't put the interview out, nobody would ever hear it unless she repeats it on another platform. So when he says things like, if you play with pigs, you get mud all over yourself, guess what? Too late. Right? Too late late because you can't tell me that he never heard of tasha k and tasha k being sued by cardi b everybody knows that cardi b sued tasha k and won for four million dollars especially if you're in the blogging podcast world it was in your best interest to pay close attention to that situation because it was a shock in the blogging world that she actually won the case when everyone expected her not to so he can't tell me that he don't know about it it was too late once you agreed to do the interview, guess what? You was in the middle of it because now you're giving her a platform. He knows that Cardi or anybody else will probably be mad at him for giving their op or giving somebody who's going against them a platform to speak against them. So for him to act like he didn't know much about Tasha K and turn around and say that he should have done more research on her. Well, if that's the case. Why did he have her on the show? See, these are the questions that these guys who do interview these people, this is what they need to ask. When Joe Budden said that he didn't know much about her or he should have did more research, guess what? The next question would have been, so why did you have her on the show? What did you want to particularly speak about that you never spoke about before? Katasha K. been out. Why didn't you have her on a show before and why did you have her on your show now? What was the real intent on having her on his show if it wasn't for the Cardi stuff? And the next question is, what was said where he felt he needed to not put the interview out and where he felt that he would be legally, financially, and algorithmically, or whatever, challenged by putting that out? He had to know that Tasha K was going to mention Cardi B, and I'm sure Tasha was feeling, well, if this is a big platform, it would make sense to expose her side of the story so she could reach a large audience and get her truth out there somehow, some way. But when you don't put the interview out, all you're doing is proving people right when they say that a lot of these blogs and media outlets are being biased and one-sided depending on who it is about. And instead of Joe trying to make it sound so mysterious, you know, why didn't he elaborate on why instead of dancing around the question? You know, why didn't he tell us why it would be a challenge financially? Why didn't he tell us why it would be a challenge legally? Why didn't he tell us why it would be a challenge algorithmically? You see what I'm saying? So that just tells me that instead of trying to get somebody's side out there, he's just, he just pretty much caring about the numbers and the views and, and, and people going to check it out. Because at the end of the day, you know that if he gets Sasha K on his platform, nine times out of 10, anybody that's supporting Cardi B, they're not going to go to his platform. He knows that. And he cares more about that than just getting the truth out there or maybe whatever she considers her truth is, you know? But y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Do y'all think Joe Budden got that call? and pull back on the interview or do you think that he just genuinely didn't put it out for other reasons whatever reason it happened to be all right um <laughs> the man got his lawyer involved and everything that makes me wonder what she really said during the interview now that makes it that more interesting like the mysterious vibe to it whatever the case may be anyway y'all let me know what y'all think about this don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content 
And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.